Hi friends, we are going to celebrate the Holy Trinity Sunday. What is Trinity? A simple question, but very difficult to answer. Lot of questions about what is Trinity? Is there a Trinity? How can we believe it? Can you prove that? This is what the, the questions which we hear every day of our life. So I am trying to find the answer for what is Trinity. First of all, I say it is a mystery because the Trinity is revealed by Jesus Christ through the Gospels. So only God can reveal about himself. So we know about things what God has revealed. Because we are created beings, we cannot overlook God with our thoughts, with our actions, because our intellect is being created by our God. So the, cre the creature or the creature cannot go higher than the creator. That's why I say Trinity is a mystery because we cannot have a deeper and inner meaning of it. Because according to the Catholic faith, we believe that there are three persons, but they are one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They are three persons, but they are one. How it is possible? That's why I say, this is a mystery. Then how did we know about uh, the Trinity? Who did reveal, as I said, it is through Jesus Christ. We have the evidence from the Gospels. So first we start from the church perspective. Um, there was a dogma formed and defined by the first Council of Nicaea. AD 325. Then we find the second council, the first council of Constantinople AD 381. These are the two councils where we speak and see about the Trinity. The first Nicene council defined the divinity of the Son. And the second council we find the first council of Constantinople, we find the Constantinople uh, council defined the divinity of the Holy Spirit. So these are the two councils who speak about the Trinity. And in it, both, both these councils is speaking about the divinity of Son and divinity of the Holy Spirit. The church is teaching. So the church is teaching us the Holy Trinity is a central mystery of the Christian faith. It comes from the Latin word Trinitas, which means three. So Trinitas means three. It is from there that the word came out, Trinity. The church expressing the Trinitarian faith by professing a belief in the oneness of God in whom there are three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Father generates the Son, and the Son is generated by the Father, and the Holy Spirit proceeds from Father and the Son. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 48, clearly explains um, about the Trinity. The central mystery of Christian faith and life is a mystery of the most blessed Trinity. Christians are baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church number 44. So the Trinity can only be proved through divine revelation that Jesus brought to us. So that's what I said in the beginning. It is not what we brought, but Jesus brought the idea of Trinity. 
So only God can explain about himself, not others. So we have to see in that perspective. So Trinity can be understood by the saying of Jesus through the gospel. So we'll just see what the gospel say. Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 we find go therefore and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit so if matthew is ending with the statement go therefore and baptize them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit from where did matthew get this idea this is what jesus has revealed when did he reveal the time of baptism, especially when we find Luke chapter 3, um, verse 22. And the Holy Spirit descended upon him, upon Jesus, in a bodily form like a dove. And a voice came out of heaven. You are my beloved son, father's voice from heaven. In you, I am well pleased. So during the time of baptism, during the time of baptism, three persons came through Jesus. So it is it is a clear idea that God is three, Father, Son and Spirit. And further, if you read John's Gospel, John's Gospel is, is the best example of Father, Son relationship and the Holy Spirit. It is clearly mentioned. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. Or in John chapter 15, verse 26, we find, When the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, that is the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, will testify about me. So, these are just examples of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit relationship. So who revealed it? It is Jesus Christ who revealed. So we have to believe, we have to have a strong faith that there is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. They are three, but they are one. Because Philip once asked to Jesus, show me the Father. Then Jesus told him, if you do not know me, you do not know my Father. If you know me, you know my father too because they are one that from there we can identify the oneness of the trinity which means they are one but they are three how that's what i told in the beginning it is very difficult to grasp the meaning and depth of holy trinity and what is god actually this trinity what how can we equalize or we can say Trinity is equal to love because that is what the main um, fact we find from the gospel. John, 1st John, letter to John, um, chapter 4, verse 8, we find God is love. The first example is found when Jesus was asked, well, Jesus was asked about the greatest commandment in the law. Matthew chapter 22, verse 34 to 40, we find here, O Israel, love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, with all what you have. First, love your God, then love your neighbor as yourself. So the greatest, the first and the greatest commandment is love. Why God is promoting love? Because God is love. Because God has shown the greatest expression of his love. God the Father sent his only son to the world. That was his greatest expression of, of his love. The greatest expression of his love, namely sending his son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John Chapter 3, verse 16. So Trinity is equal to love because God is love. 
and also we find that what is that love in roman chapter 15 verse 30 we find now i urge you brethren by our lord jesus christ and by his love of the spirit to strive together with me in your prayers to god for me this attribution of love to the spirit is highly significant with respect to god's triune nature so god is love so if you want to understand god the trinity then we have to love our god with all what we have with all our strength with all our power with all our love that's what god is expecting from us we have to love our god so trinity is easily understood by god but not by us because as i said we are created beings so what we can understand from trinity is god is love god loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life so our life is on the journey to the heaven to the eternal life who can give that eternal life that that's what we found in john chapter 3 verse 16 whoever believes in him in whom son jesus if you are believing in him you you should not f- perish but have eternal life so if we believe in son jesus christ then we will believe father too because father has sent the son to the world and son has given us the spirit the love so if i have the love which means i have the holy spirit if i have the holy spirit which means i have jesus with me i have father with me the miniature of trinity is already within me because we have been baptized in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and what our prayer we begin we begin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and we also conclude in glory to glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without the end amen this is just a simple um, trace of trinity i know that we cannot explain trinity but i was giving a guideline to understand the trinity what trinity is so let us try to adore our god in three father son and holy spirit may god the trinity bless us with all the graces for to go because we want to proclaim god's love through our life that's what god is asking from us proclaim god's love through our lives may god bless us all in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen